ask questions, it'd be great. Right Thank you. I'm honored to be on the committee. Uh, Mr. Chairman, do you believe the nuclear power uh, industry in the United States is well regulated and generally safe? Uh, I certainly, as the chairman of the NRC, believe it's well regulated. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and we, we do believe we have a, a strong program to ensure protection of public health and safety. Would you advise the Congress to continue to pursue nuclear power as part of energy production in this country? Well, the decisions ultimately about what to do with nuclear power really are beyond our, really our responsibility. Just as a citizen, would you like to see America to have more nuclear power in the future? I, I as, a, as a citizen, would like to see nuclear power that's safe and secure, and that's fundamentally my job as chairman of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. And do you believe that the nuclear power plants that we're talking about constructing in the future are more modern and more safe? Certainly the, uh, the plants that are under consideration have uh, enhanced designs and enhanced safety features that at least uh, uh, on, at the design stage and on paper seem to indicate that they would have a, an inherent a safety uh, 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 advantage over the existing plants. One but of the benefits. I, I, I want to stress, if I could, that we believe the plants that are in existence today do meet our, our requirements for safety and security, and, uh, and the new plants could potentially uh, have some additional enhancements over Looks that. It's like new cars have things that old cars don't have, but we still drive older cars. I have an older car, and I feel safe in it. I'll, I'll buy a newer car, maybe even be more safe, I guess. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, one of the big impediments the benefit of nuclear power is it creates good jobs, in my view, and it uh, doesn't admit pollutants in the air. Is that your understanding? One well, of the the, benefits? again, we, you know, the focus for the agency is really to make sure that the nuclear power that, that is in this okay. country is safe and secure, and we continue to have a program we think uh, that, that ensures if that. If I called it clean energy, would you agree? You know, I, uh, I tend to not like to get into to discussions you. about those well, Let's talk things. about spent fuel. Can we talk about that? Sure. Because I think, uh, I didn't hear his question, but Senator Durbin's making a point about what should we do with spent fuel. I've always been a fan of the uh, French reprocessing system, but quite frankly, Secretary Chu has convinced me, and I think he's one of the best Secretary of, of Energies that we've ever had since I've been in Congress. I, I like him a lot, incredibly smart. He's convinced me that if we'll be patient, uh, maybe in the next decade plus, there'll be new technologies developed on the uh, spent fuel reprocessing front that that would be worth waiting on. Do you agree with that? Well, I think again, for the Mr. NRC's Lyons. perspective, we uh, we we would just want to make sure that spent fuel can be stored safely and securely okay. until then, and and we think that's the case right now. Okay, Mr. Lyons. Let me start, uh, Senator Graham, by heartily agreeing with my boss, uh, Secretary Chu. Both of y'all uh, are very smart. I was my life. But <laughs> we, yes, yes, we are very interested in exploring a, a wide range of options on the back end of the fuel cycle. So you think it would be beneficial the for the country not to duplicate the French system right now? The French system uses the so-called Purex process. They've certainly made some improvements in it over the years. But we do have some issues related to possible proliferation from that cycle, as well as environmental issues, we think that with research we can do substantially better. And that's the research that Secretary Chu is, is leading through my office. Is shutting Yucca Mountain down helpful to our nuclear waste problem or harmful? Let me answer in this way, Senator. I came to the department after the decision had been made, and I heartily agreed with the Secretary that Yucca Mountain is not a workable solution because I believe that the equation needs both a technical and a local support. As a resident of Nevada for many years, I saw the lack of local support. I do think it's possible, and certainly the Blue Ribbon Commission is working towards approaches that may not only provide interesting technical options, but I hope can be done in ways like has been done in many international venues of having strong local support. Okay, but thank you. I think that's the key to this is probably local political support more than anything else. But we'll just uh, move on right quickly to Mox Fuel. Can you tell us uh, what Mox, did Mox Fuel in any way contribute to the disaster in Japan? No. Uh, we have a program to create Mox Fuel in America that would take plutonium weapons and convert them into plowshares. It's called the MOX program. It's Savannah River, South Carolina. Do you support that? 
Uh, yes, sir, that's not through my program. However, yes, I'm well aware of the program, and that's through NNSA, the defense. And if I could just indulge my colleagues a moment, there are 34 metric tons of weapons-grade plutonium that are in excess of our defense needs here in the equivalent amount in Russia. And these are literally nuclear weapons. And there's a process called MOX where you can take the weapon and dilute it down and create commercial fuel. You're literally taking a sword and turning it into a plowshare. And uh, that program is going on in South Carolina at Savannah River site. I just want to thank the administration for being supportive of the program. And there's some things being said in the House about the MOX program I'd like to get straight. Uh, again, do you believe that producing MOX fuel here in America makes sense? It's overall safe, and do you recommend we continue to do so? Well, again, sir, when, was, when we cross to safety, I need to pass it back to Greg. I certainly understand the, uh, the nonproliferation aspects of this. It's huge, and, isn't it? Yes, sir. It's huge. I mean, you're literally taking weapons-grade plutonium off the market and doing something constructive with it. Uh, Mr. Chairman, do you support uh, the, the MOX program? Well, we, we have done uh, very thorough analyses of the use of MOX fuel, and, and right now we have all the information we have indicates that it can be used safely. Thank you very much for your testimony. Thank you very much.